One who understands nature walks close to the Creator. That is from Edgar Casey Reading 1904-2. My name is Christina Grizzik and in a few moments we are going to get into a mini sound relaxation journey and we're going to focus today on connecting with nature. It is the spring equinox this month. It's time for renewal, rebirth, regeneration, right? And what better way to do that than to connect with nature and the elements within. There's so much that can be learned from spending time in nature and with animals. You know, I, I've done all of these different certifications and, you know, have degrees, but one of my biggest teachers, one of my biggest teachers has been nature and animals. Spending time with nature and animals can teach us so much. And we are all connected. It is all connected. Edgar Casey said, meditate often, separate yourself for a season from the cares of the world. Get close to nature and learn from the lowliest of that which manifests in nature in the earth, in the birds, in the trees, in the grass, in the flowers, in the bees. That's from 1089-3 if you're interested. So even that which seems maybe the lowliest that manifests, right? Everything has a purpose. Everything has a special unique function that is just for that specific being. The same applies with us. Each person is special, unique, and beautiful, and each person has its own special gift. The same can be said for nature and animals. So when we get back to knowing nature and animals, we get back to knowing ourselves. We have the elements within us, we have earth, we have water, we have fire, we have air. We're gonna focus on those energy systems within today, that connection with nature as we get into this time of rebirth and renewal with the spring equinox. So thank you so much for being here and for spending time with me today. And let's send our energy to the collective, right? That connection that we all share. Let's send some really good vibes today to that collective consciousness that we are a part of. You and I are a part of it. We're a part of it with nature. We're a part of it with animals. We're all a part of that awareness. So let's get into that space today of connectedness and revisiting what we once so let's find a comfortable position. Let's start in a seated position, but a comfortable seated position. I'm going to start our sound journey now. If you have earbuds, I know I've mentioned this before, earbuds will help improve the sound quality a little bit. It's a little different um, doing it in this fashion, but at least we can still gather in this way to share time and space, right? And good intentions. So let's close our eyes or soften our gaze, maybe take a tall spine if you can. Crown of the head can shine to the sky perhaps and just settle into the space, right? Just find presence. So we'll take a breath in and then release. Take a breath in and release. Again. And release. And this time when we take a breath in, we are going to hold it for four. So let's take a breath in. Two, three, four, and then hold that breath. Two, three, four, and then release. Two, three, four, and in. Two, three, four, and hold two, three, four, and release, two, three, four. Do a few of those on your own. With every breath in, invite those gifts that the universe has in store for you. And as you hold that breath, imagine that you are creating the space within to receive those gifts. And as you release with the exhale, 
imagine that you are letting go of anything that may not be serving you and preventing you from receiving those gifts. A breath in, two, three, four, and hold, two, three, four, and release, two, three, four, a few more on your own, inviting with the act, inhale, holding and creating space, and then releasing with the exhale, letting go. So now I invite you to possibly lay down if that's comfortable for you. Um, if you prefer to sit, that's this is your journey. Whatever is most comfortable for you is what you should do. So just find a comfortable position, settle into that position, close your eyes, connecting with that breath, and imagine that that breath is like the wind moving in and out, bringing in the gifts that we would like on our path that will be helpful for our journey. And then as we exhale, the wind is carrying away anything that's not serving us. So that breath is the wind within. If at any time there are any you know, distractions in the room, outside the room, mental chatter starts, just go ahead and connect with that breath again and allow that breath to take away any distractions, bringing you back to the present moment. And I will see you in a little bit. You'll know when our journey is concluded when you hear the sound of the King Shaws three times.
bring your awareness and your attention to your breath. Connecting slowly with the breath. Feeling the breath as it moves through the body. And out. A breath in. And release. A breath in. And release. to imagine that we are breathing in a beautiful ray of light, a beautiful divine light, and it's going to move as the breath moves, filling each part that it moves through, illuminating each part from within. Breath in and send the light and the breath to the crown of the head, the very top of the head. And imagine that the light is illuminating the entire top of the head. Feel the top of the head as it is being illuminated with the light, clearing anything that could be in the us connecting with the divine source. Breath in, move the light to the top of the head, the entire top of the head, beaming with light, divine and radiant, opening that connection with us and the divine. We continue breathing and we continue moving the light into the forehead, fill the light pouring throughout the forehead, illuminating the forehead, clearing the forehead of whatever may be preventing us from finding clarity and knowing on our path. A divine radiant light beaming from the forehead, clearing the path in front of us so we may see the signs that are meant for us to guide us on the we continue breathing, the entire top of the head is filled with light, the forehead is filled with light, the light pours down and radiates through the eyes, the nose, the lips, the jaw, and pours down the back of the head, filling the entire back of the head with light. The light pours down both sides, the entire head is filled with the divine radiant light clearing anything blocking us from our highest purpose. We continue breathing and the light continues to move, pouring down into the neck, into the throat, clearing anything that may be blocking us from connecting with our authentic selves, from being our true selves, from communicating our true feelings, a breath in and noticing that the entire top of the head is filled with light. The forehead is filled with light. The entire head is filled with light. The divine radiant light moving down into the throat and the neck. The light pours into both shoulders. The light lifts and removes anything that we may be carrying on our shoulders, shoulders that's weighing us down lightening our load in the shoulders with the light. Fill the light pouring into the arms, down the hands, through the fingertips. The light comes back with the breath into the shoulders, pouring into the chest, pouring into the chest, allowing the chest to be filled with light allowing that love to pour in and out, openness to love, allowing it to guide our path on our journey in life. We continue breathing, we continue moving the light into our solar plexus, connecting it with the fire energy within, connecting this light with the fire energy within, 
renewing, recharging, revitalizing the fire within. What motivates us on our path, keeps us going, that fire igniting us. We continue moving the breath and we move it into the sacral area, our water connection. That connection that allows us to be fluid and flexible on our path in life. We may know where we want the destination to be, but we also have to be flexible on our path there. We connect the life with the sacral area, recharging, restoring that divine water energy within. We continue moving the breath with the light down into the pelvic area, our earth area, our earth element, grounding and rooting us, allowing us to feel safe on our journey, knowing that the universe always has our back. The universe is always with us, always guiding us, always there with us, helping to create the knowing that we may see where we need to go. We just have to listen. We breathe in and notice that the entire top of the head is filled with light, the forehead, the head, the throat, the neck, the shoulders, the arms, down through the fingertips, the torso, the entire body so far filled with the divine radiant light pouring into both legs, each leg beaming with light energy pouring down throughout it into the ankles, the feet, the toes, from the crown of the head all the way down through the entire body, through the toes, divine radiant light, connecting all of those elemental properties within so they may work with harmony, working as one. Everything is connected. Everything is working together as one. Everything is one. Begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Notice the sensation and the energy of each as you move them. Begin to awaken the body with the new energy of connection and appreciation and gratitude for the elements that live within, connecting you on your path connecting you to nature, connecting you to the animals, connecting you to the universe. <sighs> Begin to slowly rock the body from side to side, waking up the body, feeling the sensation, the aliveness, the energy throughout the body. Take a breath in, raise the arms either in front of you or above the head. And release. Again, bring the arms up, stretch the body, really feel the expansion throughout the fingertips, down the arms, from the top of the head, down the entire body, through the toes, and release. Again, a breath in, really feeling the expansion. And this time, if there's anything, anything at all, think you can let go of, do so with the exhale as we soften the body and release the breath. At this time, if there was any space or area that you did not feel the lights, go ahead, take a breath in and send the breath with light to that area or areas and allow those areas to be filled with light. Anything that was there preventing the light from coming through, gather it with the breath and breathe it out. Again, breathe in the light, send it where it needs to go. Allow the breath to gather whatever is holding you back from allowing the light to exist there. And then let the wind with the breath exhale it and let it go. One more time, big breath in. And release. And when you're ready, we will meet in a seated position. If you are laying down, maybe roll over onto one side, 
start to bring the awareness and the intention into the body. And when you arrive in a seated position, go ahead and connect with that breath. Connecting with that breath, feeling the breath moving through the body. Now take your hands to prayer position. The thumbs come to the heart center. Take a breath in and release. The hands come to the forehead. Thumbs go to the forehead. Fingertips point to the sky. We take a breath in and release. Raise the hands above the head and pull the palms apart and let the arms drop to the sides. Bring them to your thighs or your knees, flipping the palms up so they are shining to the sky. Tall spine, tall head, take a breath in and release. And this time with the release, we are going to do three Ariyams, really connecting all of that energy within, connecting the energy within with the vibration of our own sound. So let's take a breath in. And here we go. Ariyam. Until next time, travel light.